Hello friends. I want to let you know that fraud is something that no one likes to talk about, but let me tell you, I've been doing this for six years and it's happened to me a couple times. Fraud is serious and the customers will come after you for your money. And yes, I said the customers. Let's talk about the gig apps overall and then even a little bit into our daily lives. So first of all, there are red flags on some orders. If you see any kind of food delivery order for something that you wouldn't necessarily order, like say 20 sauce packets, or who's going to order just a small french fry going several miles? That seems strange. That'll be the first realization that you have that potentially you're about to get scammed. So how is it that customers can call you and pretend that they work for that gig app company and they need some information from you in order to resolve the situation. It's because fraud happens when you're on an active order. It doesn't happen outside of that. So this is another warning sign. When you're on an active order and you receive a phone call, I would just say, don't answer it. And this is especially true for drivers that don't necessarily speak English well or English isn't your first language. Why do you have to answer the phone? Most people chat or text these days. The customer is interacting through the app because the gig app company is protecting the driver. They don't reveal our personal information. So when you're receiving a call, the customer is going to lie and say that they work for the company and they're going to want to get your login information, contact information, something where they can log into your account. What they're going to do if they get in is change your bank information and then send any outstanding pay that the company owes you to their own account. And you won't even know this is happening until it's too late. So if you have driven for any length of time and contacted customer service for any of the gig apps, I think you'll agree with me that they are not helpful whatsoever. So why would a customer service agent call you and make claims that they want to give you money, either to refund something that went wrong or something strange happened and this order needs to be refunded to you, or there's some gift cards out there that you need to buy and share that information with them? No. Anything involving money is fraud. And this is the first warning sign for you. If a customer is talking about their order, it should be normal business. Anything to do with their food delivery order is great. Hey, pick up a napkin. Do something for me. But the second it goes into money, this is letting you know that they're trying to steal your information. So sometimes when I'm on an active order, my phone rings and I sometimes answer it because I realize, oh, the customer's calling me. And again, keep in mind, they're calling through the app. But yes, when you receive the phone call, it looks like a normal phone call. So I'll talk to them and usually they're relaying information they've already shared in the app. But if anybody even starts to go down the path of I'm a customer service agent, I work for the company, I would just say hang up on them and then later report them. When I do get suspicious orders, I will try to get my money as quickly as possible by fulfilling the order, dropping it off and being done. But that scammer is going to be faster than you. They're going to contact you right away. And so this would be another case where afterwards, just reach out to the real company and report them for fraud. I can't overemphasize this enough. You have to be vigilant when you're out working for the gig apps. You already do a good job giving customer service, interacting with the restaurant, getting the order to the customer. Why does it take interaction from the company to help you do your job? I can think of only a less than a handful of times that the real gig app company has called me while I'm working. And I would say a vast 90 plus percent of the orders, there's no interaction because we already know how to do our jobs. We're picking up the order, getting it to the customer. That's it. We don't need any interaction from the company. And not to beat a dead horse, but again, if you've contacted customer support, how helpful are they? 
So why would they be reaching out to you to do something involving your money? It's fraud. So whenever this kind of fraud happens, do contact the gig app company afterwards, and that way they can deactivate that account and prevent other drivers from having to go through the same type of ordeal. Let's apply this to our daily lives as well. You know, there's been so many data breaches. All our information is out there. I notice I receive so many spam calls that unless the person's in my contacts, I don't even answer my phone. Again, when I'm doing a food delivery, when my phone rings, I know it's likely the customer. But otherwise, why answer your phone at all? Most people text message today and you're going to get contacted that way from them. So unless someone's in your contact list and you receive a call, I would just expect they don't have your best interest in mind. Think about it. Any type of scam call, they're trying to get something from you. If you don't initiate the contact, that means they don't have your best interests in mind. They're either trying to sell you something or steal from you. And in today's environment, I get so many emails and never click on them or access any links. Outside of whatever email or form of communication you received, go research on your own and find the correct contact information for the company that you are trying to reach and contact them that way. You open yourself up to fraud and outright theft if you start clicking on things or answering phone calls and complying with what they want. Keep in mind, most reputable businesses will never ask you for your login information or password. So, just like in gig work in real life, this is true. Thank you to a subscriber for encouraging me to make this video. There's been a couple times where I've been scammed in the past. The first was a really hardcore one where I was on the phone for quite a bit. And then recently, thanks to YouTube and videos like this, I recognize the warning sign. A McDonald's came through for a high paying amount and it was like two french fries. I thought, oh, come on. And then sure enough, an issue happened with that order and I did still try to get my money. But thank you for encouraging me to make this video. I would rather you as a driver be warned and that way as well you're not surprised when inevitably you're going to get that call from the customer pretending to be something else and all they're going to try to do is get your information and steal your money. So in that recent McDonald's saga, wow, I thought it was fraud and I was going to get to the bottom of it and then it turns out it ended completely unexpectedly dealing with customer support. Shocker, right? Well, I'll see you there in that video and thank you.